knives. Knives. Just like, like on the street. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What about like kitchen knives? Mm, you can't really do that, can you? I don't know. I'm scared of like oh, the when, when I was at school, someone tried to steal everything off of me because with a knife. Take away the weapons. Okay. Man. Why do you Why do you need a blade that big? Do you want like let's say even a sword? Just a sword. Yeah. Um, You're always gonna have the hobbyists out there, right? Yeah, exactly. If, if used in the right way, nothing should be banned, really. But that's very difficult to police, isn't it? Knives should be banned. No. Yes. Yeah. All of them. Yes. Even kitchen knives. Yes. Of course they should. Yeah. But knives don't kill people. People kill people. All it's right. Very easy. I think it depends on the context. Where okay. do you uh, find the people with the knives? Probably in concerts or uh, public places might be banned. Not banned, but they have to. Take more control. No, I speak English. Like, um, like. No, 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 no. because for cooking. Ah, cocina. Yes. I actually went to school um, with someone who died from a knife crime. Mm-hmm. I think that with banning anything, it's not as easy as you're just going to be able to get everything off the street. Things are always going to happen regardless. Like, for example, we don't have guns here, but we still have. You know, it, it, we still have gun violence. It's not as common. Sure. It would have to be a very detailed plan, really cracking down on different areas. It's a very complex issue that I don't think a flustered 21-year-old who just saw you on the street can answer. Yeah, no, hey, you did a great job, though, jumping in that. Not the ones in the kitchen. Not the ones in the kitchen. Uh, I mean, I guess the question is if I bring it out of the kitchen, it's now on the streets, right? I guess. I'm not really around knives much. Same. Do you think all of the knives should be banned? I mean, yeah, it is better not just for like, you know, for us, it's for uh, like, you know, because some people when they're like drunk or something, they wouldn't like, you know, think about what they're doing. So directly they'll just stab. And then like when they wake up from being drunk and they know what they did, they're going to be like, yeah, I did the biggest mistake of life. <laughs> yeah, stay away from booze. Yeah. Five I have, it will be easy. Uh, you can bite them in Morrison. Uh, okay, right over there. Nice way, yeah. Morrison's, all right, let me see what I can do. We are going to purchase a knife. Boom. Do you think knives should be banned? Not really, because you need them in the kitchen. So, like, how are you going to... Do you know what I mean? How do you do it, right? I think when it comes to knife crime, you need to look at the social causes, not just how easy it is to buy a knife. Like, I think there's a lot more to it than that. I think you're better off, instead of banning knives, I think you're better off actually um, investing in young people. I think that's the way that you stop knife crime. I think you're on to something. Thank you. Now I'm going to go on a mass murder spree. Kidding, kidding. Please don't call the cops. All right, bye. Let's say you do ban these. The question then becomes, is this a sufficient enough deterrent to stop me from getting a chunk of metal and sharpening it myself? I don't know. Honestly, probably, yeah. I'd be too lazy to go make my own knife, but I would get the screwdriver and start hacking away personally. And if not a knife, they own a pair of scissors. So I think what they're really saying is ban slightly weaponized, sharp things. But this is not intended to be a weapon. So where does this logic end? Question for you, miss. Do you think knives should be banned? Yes, definitely. Like yeah. something like this? Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. What if I need to cut my bread? Well, I mean, outside or inside? What if I bring it outside? Only if it's near your flat or where you live, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a bad knife crime in Camden. It's really bad. No one's controlling it. And it's along with uh, phones being snatched is also another big problem here. But yeah, I wouldn't do it, yeah. Why is it so bad here, do you think? Because um, there's nothing for the kids to do. So they're just like wandering around with no activities. And I think that's part of it. You think knives should be banned? Yeah, of course, man. Use your hands, yeah, man. Nice, Peace and love. Peace what, and what love. about these right here? What if I'm cutting bread That's tonight? It's kitchen. It, it should be a much stricter sort of administration on it. And do you think that logic should apply to all knives? Yeah, all knives. Anything sharp. If you can do damage with it, it should be registered. Could you stop someone from finding something else that's sharp. No, if anyone wants to hurt themselves, they'll do it. But I think that's more, of a, that's more of a reflection on the mental health crisis than the... Uh, okay, this is interesting. They can't, they can't be banned because you have to use them for sure. eating. Sure. What about like a sword? Maybe, <laughs> maybe yes. Yeah. Maybe. All right. If you want to stab someone, you don't need a knife. You can use a pencil, you can use a pen. You don't need a knife. You know, you need the education. What do you think about that? We don't like guns, we don't like violence. We didn't use knives for violence. Okay. That's it. I figured it out. The simple answer is ban violence. But this new zombie knife ban begs the question. Once zombie knives are banned, should regular kitchen knives also be banned? Can a government regulate violence out of people? Or will people just find other creative ways of hurting each other? I pulled up to Edmonton and met up with